Welcome to the project demonstration of electrical SCADA implementation and monitoring the data on the MATLAB through the Bluetooth technology. So here we are going to monitor the parameters like voltage and current. So voltage and current for the varying purpose we are making use of these two potentiometers and frequency directly from the transformer and that is input to the PC817 optocoupler and temperature of the transformer continuously measured by this LM35 temperature sensor. These four parameters continuously read by our PIC microcontroller and the data will be displayed on the 16 by 2 LCD screen and the same data will be sent through the Bluetooth module to the receiver end of our laptop. So the data will be received and that will be converted into the USB as the processor of the laptop can read only USB data but the microcontroller in the Bluetooth will send the data in uh, TTL uh, logic. So that's why we need to convert the TTL to USB with the help of this PL203 uh, TTL to USB or USB TTL converter and the data will be continuously read by our MATLAB and after that it will display the data on the MATLAB screen along with it will store the same data in notepad so we can see that that will be along with the date and time presentation here so here coming to the connections wise so we have interfaced this uh, SCADA board so uh, measure the frequency, current and voltage and temperature so these four parameter sensor are interfaced to the a0, A1, A2, A3 and A4 pin of our microcontroller and uh, output display LCD was connected at the pin number B22, B7 and Bluetooth module at the C6 as a transmitter pin of our microcontroller and the next in order to provide the power supply to the system to the transformer so we are providing 230 volts AC and that will be stepped down to the 12 volts of AC with the help of this transformer so which will take 230 volts AC and provide the 12 volts of AC that is 12 volts AC parallelly input to this SCADA board means from here we are going to measure in the voltages and parallelly to the this regulated power supply board so which has the four stages sorry three stages as a rectification the four diodes will act as a bridge rectifier so we will take 12 volts AC and provide the 12 volts pulsating DC to remove the pulses we are making use of this capacitor so which will remove the pulses so we will get the pure DC voltage but that would 12 volts but the operating voltage of our microcontroller Bluetooth module and LCD is a 5 volt for that purpose we are making use of this 7805 regulator so which will take 12 volts means above 5 volts and provide us the constant 5 volts output so like 230 volts AC to 12 volts AC 12 volts AC to pulsating DC and pure DC and 5 volts DC so in these stages we are going to get 5 volts constant DC output so as operating voltage of our system is a 5 volt so once we provide that here this motherboard will start reading input from the input sensor board and display now LCD and send the data to the mother like uh, Bluetooth through MATLAB so before on the kits we need to install PL2303 application in your laptop so as we have provided the MATLAB software and PL2303 right so after installation this at the end it will ask you to insert the PL2303 right I am inserting that right so to check the whether this USB TU or TTL driver installed properly or not so go to this PC right click on that go to show more options and manage and in that device manager right there we get the ports my right check that ports so if you get the com number here directly like this in this format then you can go on uh, with the execution otherwise if you get to contact the supplier like error message then click on that update driver browse the computer and let me pick and then we need to select the 2008 here 2008 and then install that so it will be installed successfully and it will display the com number after that right after checking these settings from the device manager now close this open the code MATLAB code So we have provided the code here electrical SCADA so in that directly click on electrical SCADA directly so it will be open in the MATLAB so meanwhile come into the kit 
so on the power supply to this transformer and then there is we'll see the welcome message and then after continuously we can see the voltage and current temperature and degree centigrade and frequency coming to the fault detection fault uh, making so I'm disconnecting uh, this to the optocoupler circuits as we can see the zero heads here so if we connect over here again so right so it will check the number of pulses continuously per second as nothing but 50 hertz nothing but per second it will provide us the 50 hertz 50 pulses so that will be count by this optocoupler through the microcontroller directly so that count will be displayed on the lcd as a frequency and coming to the temperature also so just i'm increasing the temperature you can see that the temperature is increasing now right okay and uh, coming to the voltage varying purpose right so this is the current the first one is you can see that so i am decreasing the current counterclockwise and increasing the voltage so decreasing the voltage now and clockwise increasing the voltage so as we get the constant voltage from here that's why we are changing that manually with the help of this variable resistors now coming to the matlab screen so you can see that when we switch on this cage there you can see one blue light is blinking on this usb tutorial right nothing but the data is sending from the cage and that will be received by our module so this is the code so directly we are getting the input from the com port so directly it will identify the com port which is open and it will read the data and uh, this is date and time and the next that will be stored into the data.txt by appending that so if you want to get the fresh data I'm removing this right now run the code so we can see that status on this command window so right so the live data will be displayed on this command window and we can see that the data.txt created the file so and i'm changing the voltage you can see the the change of voltage also will be appear on this command window screen right now i'm increasing the current right now i'm increasing the temperature right and also i have unplugged the transformer to the frequency input zero right okay so we can see the text file this data.txt so live data which we have stored here till now the capture data live data at the same time right